Hey guys, it's Tuesday, February 18, and I just wanted to give a quick update about what's been going on. Sorry if I mentioned things that I've mentioned in other videos already. Um, I'm a really forgetful person, so I tend to repeat myself a lot sometimes. Um, first of all, I've been kind of sick the past few days. I started on Friday, um, and nothing really bad, just kind of... I felt worse earlier. I was like kind of achy. I'm sorry. It was kind of achy, like I had the flu, but and had like a very slight fever maybe, and then just a sore throat and cough kind of. But now it's a little better. Um, I still have some like chest congestion, like a cough, but it's not horrible. Uh, yesterday it was a lot worse because I had four hours of classes and I was talking for the like whole four hours straight, and I was more sick yesterday. So I kind of lost my voice like earlier in the day, <laughs> so that sucked. Um, but anyway, um, this week it feels like it's been a really long week already, even though it's only Tuesday. Um, I'm not like really enjoying the classes that much this week. I didn't have anything like super exciting to teach them, so we're kind of focusing the lesson plans on the Olympics. But I'm not sure they're not super interested in it, so. Um, it depends on the class. Today I had my favorite class first, and it was pretty interesting, actually. I did really enjoy that. But the rest of the classes, they're just kind of so-so, because the students weren't interested very much. Um, and my class that I have today at 1.30, that's, like, my favorite class, they, the reason I like the class is because they kind of, they direct it a little bit sometimes, or they will... I told them that they can bring up subjects they want to talk about in class, and I told that to all of my classes, but this is the only class that really does it. Sometimes they'll mention things they want to talk about, which is um, more interesting for them and for me also, so I like that a lot. Um, and today we did like a personality test thing with uh, descriptive writing. I don't know if I'm going to do it with my other classes, because I think, first of all, you have to have a higher level for it to be like interesting and um, just it's easier in smaller classes also I think because then you can share it and it's not as embarrassing if it's in front of the whole class and stuff so basically um, I asked them to write a description and I told them what to describe so it starts out um, you're in a desert you see a cube and then they have to describe what the cube looks like actually it might be interesting if I have you guys do it so, um, and then I'll tell you in another video what it means. So if you're interested, uh, maybe I won't describe it all here. And if you would be interested in doing it, let me know in the comments. And I'll make a separate video giving you the instructions. And then you can do it. And then after that, I'll tell you what it means, the results. But I did that with my students. And then they had a personality test that they had me do that was really fun. I think she just thought of it because we did that one. And um, so on the board, she drew... A box with six sections and she drew different shapes in each one so there's a circle a square a triangle a lightning bolt type shape a cross and then the last one was like the top of a heart um, and so you're supposed to draw complete the drawings each shape you turn it into something so I turned them into an eyeball a what did I turn the square a house um, the Eiffel Tower what else? I can't even remember. I should have taken a picture. I didn't think of it. The Eiffel Tower and um, a palm tree. <laughs> uh, oh man, I can't remember. Palm tree, the cross, I turned into a rose, and the last one I turned into a heart. And then you have to give a adjective to each thing you drew, so describing the item. And then it um, each picture represents something else in your life. So it was like one represents yourself, one represents your friends, your family, um, what else? Your religion was the cross and your sex life and then your outlook on the world or something. So that was really cool. Um, I did that and then they explained it to me. It was really fun. So anyway, I really enjoyed that class today. I usually enjoy that class. Um, my other classes I had the one class that's really rambunctious and loud, and they were so loud I like had to yell at them today, and um, they're just they're just crazy. I still like that class because they're enthusiastic, but they just get a little out of hand sometimes. And then my last class, um, it's a newer class. I've only had them once or twice so far, 
and they half the class is quite interested and they're nice the other half they seem like they're not interested at all and uh, but they most of them they were still participating at least but one girl she just like flat out refused to we were reading an article out loud so I was having them each read a paragraph she just refused to read it and I was just kind of like how old are you like she's they're like 18 like are you two? I don't know. And so I was like, okay, well, you can leave then. And it was right towards the end of the class. There's only like three minutes left of the class or something. So she left. And I told her to go to the Viscolaire, like the student office. But I had a feeling she wasn't going to go there because it was almost the end of the class. And I don't know. She didn't want to get in trouble. So after the class, I went there and she told me that she didn't go. So I think I had the right name of the student. I don't know these students very well because I just... This is only like the second or third time I had them, but I asked one of the other students in the class if that was her name, so hopefully I gave them the correct name and a different student doesn't get in trouble for it, um, but yeah, it was kind of a, eh, a crappy day, but that's okay. Tomorrow I just have one class because my schedule is changing around, um, so just a quick overview of my schedule now, and I think this will be my schedule for the rest of the time. Um, on Monday I have two classes at 8 and 9 a.m. I have and that's at the other school I have a class at 11 a.m. at this school I have another class at the other school at 3 p.m. so I have to go back and forth on Tuesdays I have three classes at the other school one at 1.30, one at 4, and one at 5 and then I have um, on Wednesdays just one class here at 9 a.m. Um, and also I actually I go at 8.45 to do 15 minute private sessions with one student before that. Um, on Thursdays, I have classes. Sorry, someone's messaging me. I have classes on Thursday, uh, 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning at the other school. And then I will have one here at 2 30 p.m. And um, the private lessons with another student at 1 p.m. here for half an hour. And then on Fridays, I just have one class at 10 a.m. at this school. So that's my new schedule. Um, sorry if it's confusing sounding. And I'm right now. I'm just. I really need to break. I'm a little stressed out, and um, I don't know. I'm ready for the vacation. We have vacation coming up the first two weeks of March. I will have off. There's a lot of vacation in France, um, so I'm going to be traveling, and I'm super excited. First of all, to one, I have to work. Two, get to travel. And three, see some of my friends and family who are going to come visit and travel with me. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, and that's pretty much all that I could think about lately and some travel plans. And last night I Skyped with my mom for a long time and we were working on travel plans as well because she's going to come meet me in May after I've finished with Tepif and we're going to travel to Italy and in France a little bit. So I've just been thinking about travel plans all the time. It's all I want to think about. Um, not work, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So I hope this update was enjoyable for you guys. Sorry if it got a little long or if it's boring, I don't know. But thanks for watching anyway, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.